And Sean, you mentioned Microsoft having already won an AHGL. This could be their second victory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where do you keep a second diamond trophy? These are 100% pure diamond. These are worth $8.9 billion. Honestly, what I, we should do is design them so the trophies can fit into each other to see if they can make a Voltron after 10 seasons. That would be great. I like that. I think the only people who would really be for that is Microsoft, though. As they, they so far are looking good. But anyways, we are in the game now. Both players have indeed spawned. Otherwise, this would be a very awkward cast. And indeed, it looks like it could be potentially a long macro game. As it is cross positions down in the bottom left. He can possibly close it out for his team in this very game. From Team Microsoft, it is none other than Aya Koic. And up on the top right side, it is going to be from Amazon. Amazon Prime is also really awesome, Sean. Don't mm -hmm. know if you know that. It's great. Go ahead and give it up for Chashui. It's so cool to see these two uh, teams battling against each other. I mean, you were just talking about Amazon Prime. I, in fact, order everything from Amazon. I even order my pants from Amazon. I don't try them on. I just... I just never change, so I just know the dimensions once. Perfect. And you I just layer the pants on, like once one is too raggedy, you just buy one size <laughs> up and put those on over. And of course, Microsoft, I pretty much have written every essay that has ever existed using their software. That's a good point. Yeah. And I'm actually I'm a huge fan of spreadsheets. So I, I'm going to give a shout out to Excel, which I know. Yeah, Microsoft yeah, I Excel. Like, I feel like the Excel devs don't really get the love that they deserve. You can do some serious optimization with that solver function. And you like, can draw like 8-bit characters when you're really bored. Wow. By filling in the cells. I've never even considered that, Mike. Have you ever been on Reddit? No, I... Hey, that's all over Reddit, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look what I did. I made Zelda instead of doing work. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Ayako getting the orbital command up. Up in the top right, Chashui following suit. King a slightly later orbital. There's kind of a debate that I've heard players talk about. Is it better to get the 16th worker, or is it better to stay on 15 and get the orbital command a little bit earlier? Players like the Muslim do like getting a slightly later orbital command, just for that little bit of added mining time. So it looks like the Reaper is coming on out for Ayakok. He's going to try to do a little bit of containing. Chashui looks like he's going to be going straight for factory. Yeah, now, Sean, uh, with the Reaper on the way, what do you think about Reapers on this map? Because the interesting thing about StarCraft 2 is that maps basically tell you what units are actually good. Is a Reaper a viable option here? I, ooh, that's that's a really weird maneuver from Ayakok. That is extremely odd. Rarely ever do you see anything like this for the early stim. I mean, one of the reasons why you might want to get a Reaper is because you'd say, oh, factory units or starport units are better on this map. So I'm going to need to get gas early anyways for that tech path. Therefore, I will start things off with a Reaper so I have at least a little bit of scouting control. This Reaper into a really fast Marine stim, I am not as big a fan of. It's actually very easy to do 1-1-1 one, one, one style pushes to crush it, and it looks like Chashui is actually heading down that route. This single Reaper could get some critical scouting information, but there are a whole bunch of Marines that are going to be able to greet him and say hello. Yeah, and you got to remember that Reaper's on this map. I mean, look around the base. You cannot make it up there, oh! and goodbye. Reaper is actually going to lose that. That is exactly what Shashui wanted, because now, now only one of two things can happen here, Sean, and they're both ideal. Number one, he forces a scan, which is great because you're forcing a scan. Or number two, it's just going to go completely unscouted, yeah. which is great as well. Ooh. So even though it's a large map, we could be seeing a very aggressively timed attack here. Oh, I'm, I love this push so much. Marine Hellion Medivac. You just blast shove the front. And unless a bunker gets started real soon, bunkers take 40 seconds to build. Oof. I mean, Chashui is looking in fantastic position. Iacoke is going to have to pull a micro miracle. His stim will not be done. An engineering bay go going down. I mean, Iacoke is playing as greedy as humanly possible in this game. Yeah, there goes the bunker right there. So it looks like it will be done in time, but uh, Hellions are on the way. That medevac's going to be nearly done. But, Sean, at this point, do you even, like, attack the front, or do you just drop the main base with all these Hellions? I mean, you can do both. You can do Hellions at the front and Marines at the back. So, ah. For example... <laughs> wow, Chashui, during this time, he gets all his add-ons. Reactor, Tech Lab. Well, I was half right. This is going to be painful, Sean, as uh, he's not going to have units add those barracks anytime soon. He will have stim in time-ish. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. How many units does he have right now? He has six on the field right now. And it looks like the Hellions are going to begin sweeping in. 
They will be able to pick off one. That's huge. This is going to be oh, huge God. because right now that is all the Marines. In fact, the Hellions could likely even load back up to the top side. Here Looks comes like the drop inside the main base right now. It has not been spotted yet. Does he unload right on top of the SCVs? Yes, he does. These SCVs are going to have to evacuate the hell out of there. They have to remember that he does have his expansion up already. The Hellions have since been cleaned out. He would have loved to intercept those with the Hellions, but uh, the SCV is trying to split up right now. This drop is going to be very difficult to deal with because the medevac is just so powerful here. Uh, no stim uh -oh. or anything like that on the way, and the medevac. Oh, and he gets the stim. Oh, my God. That is a big win for Chashui. I mean, Chashui was never trying to end the game with that push but right now he is getting the money composition up he's gonna be able to get his upgrades out very swiftly he's adding on additional barracks he's gonna get his orbital command up and right now in the uh, unit station even though they're pretty even in terms of supply Iacoic is going to be really low down on the tech path so he can't really favor tanks he's gonna have to favor medevacs Speaking of medevacs, the drop is going to continue over here. Looks like he might just try and kill off this depot. Might be able to get a free marine here as well. I mean, really anything he can do to delay the medevac production. Uh -oh, There's uh -oh, the big uh -oh, stand. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Coming he, forward, oh! gets away. I mean, this is hundreds of points of damage being dealt just by forcing these stems. I mean, the medevacs are going to come out, heal up, and they're going to be completely exhausted. Exactly, and that's going to be a beautiful timing for him to try and move out there. Remember that siege tanks do spawn already with siege mode good to go, which means that these siege tanks right now could set up a pretty brutal contain, especially yeah. since these Marines have stemmed themselves to near death. And yeah, try and drop it. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, another stem! Oh my God, these Marines are going to be addicts in like three minutes. I think so. They've only got one more stim before they die, Sean. So that's uh, that's all he's really got there. I wish you could stim to death. That would be the coolest thing ever. That would be amazing. You but know, I just want to tell a brief little story time about just beginning to learn StarCraft 2. Uh, whether you had a lot of experience with the game or not. Oh, looks like Chashu is, is, he's noticed a pattern of stimming. He is abusing oh that giant addiction. There it is right he's, there. No way, Iacoic. Oh my god. And then this SCV is going to try to repair all the Marines. That would be great. He does have the medevac on the way, but I don't want to interrupt your story. Oh, thank you, Mike. You know, you know how, like, if you have a bunch of units of the, of the same type selected, you can spam them, right? and they'll do it one at a time. Like sentries. If you have 10 sentries, you have to hit G 10 times for all of them to do guardian shield. I thought that stim worked the same way. Mm. So I had like 20 marines, and I was like, time to hit T 20 times. And then suddenly, Mike, I no longer had 20 marines. That's a great story. <laughs> I love stories that go just like that. We do have the army going to be moving out right now. And as you mentioned, the medevac basically has no energy after uh, healing all of these units up. And uh, hopefully the drug-fueled addiction here does not continue because he's not going to have that, uh, that many medevacs to continue healing. He does have a third base on the way already. What do you think about this? I mean, this is exactly what uh, Iacoic needs to do. He's way far behind on the tank count. It's four to nil. Has he even begun producing tanks? Jeez, only just now. And it looks like the upgrade lead might soon go into Chashui's favor as long as he gets his armory started swiftly enough. Ayakoic going to try to do a drop up at the top side. Um, so in, th in this position, I mean, it's pretty close, but Ayakoic must begin battling to get up additional expansions. And he should also battle to get more supply depots. He's currently a supply block. We do have uh, more missile turrets on the way inside the main base to try and deal with these drops. Uh. I do believe that Medivac can just move out towards that northern side, though, completely go around that defense here, which uh, is not going to be great for him. We oh, do have more... No. Oh, oh, got to be careful. Got to be is, careful. Is it in range? It is in range. We'll be able to speed past there, though. Start unloading inside oh, the well, base. Where, where are the units? Very swift answer there from Chashui. He will be pulling absolutely everything back. Was there anything even really killed off? No, just a single worker. It looks like a supply depot will be picked off. He's just delaying the economy, and it looks like, wow, Chashui has decided to just abandon and go straight on in, and Ayakoic needs to be careful of that turret. No, it looks like he will stay and chill in the main. Chashui is just doing a little bit of a tiny split up. Is he getting stim? No stim yet. Big push coming up for Chashui. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be careful, though. I mean, it took him too long to deal with this drop. I feel like there's the big stim. I don't even know if he's going to be able to have enough Marines here to hold it up. No, he is not. The one attack really starting to kick in right there. As Chashui, though, does have 1-1 one, one himself. He's going to be moving out right now. But Sean, if he boondoggles this attack, he's going to be in a oh terrible spot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. There's just a whole stream of gobbledygook. Thank God you said that, Mike. It looks like all the tanks are sieging up. Ayakoic getting the terrible end of the deal. Oh my god, what a cockamamie angle that was, Mike. 
That is absolutely true. He's going to try and run right down to the natural. As the SMB is trying to get out of there, it looks like Amazon may be having the best position they've been in this entire time. As he's going to move in there, does manage to take those out. But oh, oh, he's going to be careful. The siege tanks on the high ground. They eat up all those Marines. But he did push this attack away. But you got to remember that Chashu is not actually mining in his main base right now. Yeah. So I it's mean, kind of a one base versus one base? I mean, Chashui has. Ayakoa boondoggle that attack, Mike. I'm not yeah. going to lie. There's really no other way to say it. As as did you and I with that poll. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Chashui has set himself up in perfect positioning. Looks like Ayakoa is doing a little bit of the most dangerous game trying to drop on these siege tanks. Not that much damage is really yeah. being dealt, and Chashui can pick that off in a matter of seconds. Right now, Chashui has just reestablished control of his own setup. Muling occurring on the right side. It looks like Chashui is thinking of trying to do a swing around attack. I don't know if I like this. He really needs to protect those tanks. A single flood down, which looks like exactly is what Ayakoic is doing, could spell disaster. But oh, Chashui has forgotten Stim. He's been caught up in the panic of the moment. And here come the siege tanks. He needs oh, to here engage. We go. Here we go. The siege tank on the low ground might actually be able to help out a lot right now. There's also the hidden base kind of in the center of the map right there, which has not been scouted. It looks like all of a sudden, Ayakoic got to be able to break out of here. I think he killed that siege tank with the SCVR. got really close there. And at this point, he's got to transfer the workers back uh -oh. to his main base. And all of a sudden, I mean, oh, drop of the main base here, though. I mean, Chashu is doing a good job applying pressure. He needs to notice soon that he does not have stim. I mean, that is a very long time to go without that. And oh, he gets this tank kill. Nice. He loses one Marine and picks off the tank. He needs to do the hot pickup. Oh, leaves a couple Marines to die. Hidden expansion, like you mentioned, Mike, has not yet been spotted. It's a fairly even game with the exception of this stim that's killing Chashui. And it's also killing esports. Nice. I think Aikoic has to transfer the SCV. Oh, there he goes right there, transferring them from that third base to try and even this out. Now, you got to remember that, uh, you know, Chashui is a little bit ahead right now. I'm kind of curious on the army supply advantage, 69 to 44. But the longer this game goes on, Aikoic's going to be able to bounce right back with that expansion. But Chashui's macro. Uh, oh, oh, thank God. Team Amazon is just big sigh of relief. We're going to, we're going to do it. Getting that 20-minute stem as he just started right there. The big scans, though, show exactly where that army is. Oh, God, that poor Marine taken out by a siege uh -oh, tank. He's uh -oh. going to be running to a choke point. The siege tank's on the high ground. This is a he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. it. Oh, my gosh. A terrible engagement angle. Cha Shui does not oh, have no. stem. No it's stem. stem combat shield oh, Marine no. versus 2-1. Oh, no. Ayakoic has even the score. Wow. Another tank will fall. Wow. We do hear a few grunts from the audience. I will say, look at the production tab, though, for Josh Shui. Yes, he lost that engagement, but he himself does have that third base up. He is working on 2-2, two, two, which uh, I'm trying to click on Marines here for Aikoic. He is at 2-1 right now. So if that 2-2 two, two does finish, he will have a slight advantage. His third base, again, is up. Units tab right now shows uh, relatively same amount of workers right now. An actual slight advantage goes to Josh Shui. Yeah. So basically, he was way ahead, and he just knocked himself down a couple pegs to right even. Yeah, this is a dead even game. And in Chashui's shoes, though, you're going to be thinking to yourself, man, oh gosh, I really blew it. Now I'm going to lose. And you have to push that out of your mind because it's very possible to still win in this position. Ayako is going to go for another drop. Absolutely nothing here. We'll have to retreat. Uh, yet another fast retreat. And it looks like this drop is going to be just obliterated by that turret. I mean, Ayako is doing a little bit of boondoggling himself. Yeah, but you got to remember that there is no stim here for Cha Shui, so he's not able to chase these drops down. Another drop inside the main base. He cannot afford to lose too many workers here because that was the one advantage he had, but no longer 51 to 55 uh, workers, I do believe, right now. It does like these Marines will eventually get cleaned up. That 2-2 really being helpful here, trying to make up for the lack of stim. But stim is just so close to being done right now. Um, taking a look at the production, though, neither player is actually making too many units. Looks like Aikoic is actually in the lead there, uh, but he's struck by the powerful supply block. Uh-oh, looks like Ayakoic's drops have finally ceased to function. And the big edge that Chashui has in this position is going to be the upgrades. He's going to be 3-3 versus the 3-2 of his opponents. Right now, Ayakoic is just doing a brilliant job of recovering from that near-death position. In the army supply, we see that it's a little bit favoring Chashui. Most of that is going to be in Marines. The six tanks from Ayakoic could be tremendous, because right now, Chashui has no vision. He stims uh. a single Marine, sends it forward. Very nice job there. Both players, single Marine, encounters one another. Uh-oh, there needs to be some siege ups. 
Siege up, siege up, siege up, siege up, and he's got to be so careful here. Really, the unit counting station is got to be the most important here. Chachui, 46 Marines, but he's got less siege tanks here, and uh -oh. Oh, losing another one right there. He cannot afford to do the scans oh. are just a little bit too powerful here, making those units just barely in range. And uh, right now, I mean, Chashui, he does have, no, he doesn't really have Marine advantage anymore, so he's got to be super, super uh -oh, careful uh -oh. right here, because he is quickly falling behind. Looks like a little bit of siege tank engagements. Oh, no, the Marines not on hold position, but do absorb a shot to make sure the tank count uh, is maintained. Ico macroing like a beast. Oh, sending a whole bunch of Marines up to the north side. Love it, love it. There's nothing up there to defend right now. These SCVs are going to get taken out, and that was his one vulnerable angle here, and this might actually be irreversible damage at this point. Oh, that no. is Every single SCV gets taken out, and you got to remember that he has less units in the center of the map as well, so this is not looking really oh, good. Oh, no, He's the Marines are clumping up. Go They're clumping up. The tank count goes way back. Iacoic is decimating this force in the center. Chashui is forced to retreat. Looks like I and Koix Marines trying to swing around the backside. 3-3, three, three, almost done for Cha Shui. But Iacoic is not relenting. He's continuing to blast on forward. This Marine has Mission Impossible trying to take down that tank in the center. And he's not going to get it. Does get dangerous closer. There's a drop down at the south side. He needs to kill the SCVs, though. And he is going to be able to do that. But again, he's got to do so much damage here to actually even this game out. He's down uh, two expansions right now. And his army supply has been destroyed. It's got to be very tough. I mean, drops are what he has to do. Maybe dropping the main base to try uh -oh. and make something of it. But that medevac is so low. That one Marine, can he do it? Ah. Oh, Chashui showcasing some nice micro. But, I mean, he needs to macro and stabilize to be able to tie this game up. This little Marine force in the main base, 3-3 versus 2-3. Chashui was one stem away from securing a couple of those early battles. But right now, Ayakoic is playing so brilliantly. Yeah, I mean, the originally at the beginning of the game, he was a little bit behind, but winning the engagements that he needed to have put him in such a vastly superior position at this point. We do have, uh, you know, a lot of production on the way for Chashui, but it's just not going to be keeping up with Aikoic. He has to get a really good angle or something like that, but we already have three, two upgrades now done for Aikoic with... Uh yeah, he has more upgrades on the way as well. So he's just got to be extremely, extremely oh, wow. careful. He also has a siege tank upgrades as oh, well. Oh, wow. Ayakoic is just going for it. It is macro versus positioning. And right now, macro is overcoming all. That is so many Marines from Ayakoic. And I don't think the defense of Chashui is going to be enough. Ayakoic uh, from Team Microsoft storming in with his team at match point. They might be able to win it right here. Ayakoic from Team Microsoft decimating the front lines of Chashui. Yeah, there's nothing you can do at this point. I mean, a couple well-positioned siege tanks might be able to hold for a moment or two, but not much longer than that. There's a siege tank right there. SCVs are pulled off the line here. He's not going to be able to hold this right here, though. His SCV count is plummeting down to 11, now 7, 6, uh, now 5 SCVs. That oh. is not going to work out for him, even if he kills it off, which he does. There's also a drop over here. Or there was a drop over there. They will only kill a supply depot, though. And uh, for now, technically, Chashui has not been eliminated because he still has buildings. Oh, my God. Chashui is, his defense is in shambles. He, his, his defenses are, are, are gobbledygook, I guess. And there's the GG. Oh, my God. Good game. Microsoft has done it. Microsoft are the champions of the After Hours Gaming League Season 3, Husky. And the crowd goes absolutely crazy as Microsoft able to do it and my god those microsoft players are so freaking good uh oh that's the time delay on the team microsoft viewing party they're still holding intention they don't know that they're on the screen yet but ladies and gentlemen when they do see themselves on there they're going to absolutely lose their minds i'm certain of it and we won't get to see it well hopefully we will soon either way that does mean that your champions ladies and gentlemen are none other than team microsoft They are such an awesome team, such a strong team. They got knocked out unexpectedly last season, but this season, there we go. Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> we got the very courteous golf claps going on. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people expected that uh, Microsoft would be able to take the win here. 4-0, a really commanding result, but very close games in sets two, three, and four. Yeah, no, actually really, really good games there. I mean, Amazon was in a position several times to take those games, just a few missteps, and they unfortunately did not take those games. So 4-0 for Microsoft. So without any further ado, 
we will be stepping away for a brief moment because when we come back, it's time to crown our champions and close out. Stay tuned.